Hey guys, welcome back to the devlog. If you're new here, I'm making a fishing roguelike. It's like turning a fishing minigame into the entire game. This week, I'm going to be adding an attack system into the game. Right now, when you're trying to catch fish, it works like this. You move your fishing hook around and try to stay within the bubbles to fill up a progress bar. The problem is, it's kind of boring. My plan all along was for different fish to have different abilities and attacks, and you'd have to dodge them, kind of like the Undertale gameplay. I'm gonna start programming that, and I'll get back to you when I made some progress. Now I have some test projectiles spawning randomly around the player. It's a good start, so next I'm going to have the projectiles move towards the player. And when the player gets hit, it should set back the progress bar a bit. Alright, here's the progress I made. You can see that whenever one of the projectiles hits me, I lose some progress. And once I get hit by too many, I lose the fish. I'm going to go out on a quick break, and when I get back, I'm going to make some art for the projectiles. Alright, so it's the next day and I went a bit overboard and decided to totally revamp all the art here. I realized that I actually had four different art styles, which was vector art for the UI, low poly for the terrain and the water, uh, voxel art for the fishing rod and the fish models, and pixel art for the main gameplay. All the art styles were clashing and it didn't look that good. You can see that I switched out the hook, the fish, and the bubbles. And on the projectile side, I created this growing animation before it fires. So you have time to react to it when it spawns next to you. Uh, it spins and has little particle effects. My next plan is to add some more attacks, but it's getting kind of late. So I'm going to call it for today and let you know where I get to next. So I had this idea for the seaweed attack that stretches out and hits you. And here it is. I also had the hook change direction based on where you're headed. The CV ended up not being too hard to implement, but it looks pretty nice. It does happen pretty suddenly though, so I feel like some sort of warning pop-up would be nice. I also don't like how you can kind of see the end of the seaweed, but I'll fix that somewhere down the line. I want to prioritize adding content before I polish up too much. So here's the warning sign. There's this flashing pop-up where the seaweed is going to show up. I'm thinking of adding one last attack for this week, maybe some sort of rock attack similar to the star one, but instead it moves in, in kind of a set path as opposed to heading right towards you. Uh, so I'll, I'll catch back with you guys when I add that. Here's the rock attack. I reused the star projectile code and made some small modifications. I've also went ahead and added the ability to have different fish have different attacks. So you see the blue pip uses the rock, the mossy shell uses the seaweed, and the daylight shell uses the stars. Next week, I'm going to add a shop and some fishing rod upgrades. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure to subscribe. See you next time.